heaven or hell is as big as a lie as god to give life to god to make the belief system work the words like heaven and hell were coined by the sages heaven and hell does not exist god does not exist there is no heaven or hell for the simple reason being for heaven and hell to exist karma theory has to exist karma theory has two aspects to it one says the way you sow the way you reap in this life and the other says the way you sow the way you reap in your next life the religions of the west like judaism christianity islam do not believe in life after death they do not carry the concept of rebirth the religions of the east like hinduism buddhism jainism and sikhism believe in the concept of rebirth sikh guru guru nanak in the year 1520 founded the sikh religion he said and believed that all that is happening to you is because of the hukum meaning the order of vaheguru meaning god himself the soul finally joins back to vaheguru the god and there are around 8400000 types of birth which a human being travels before finally merging with god and since human beings have an higher consciousness they can and have the ability to stop the cycle of birth and rebirth by their own good karmas they strongly believe in the karma theory they believe that as you sow so you reap but if this is true then how does the earlier concept of whatever is happening to you is because of the hukum meaning by the order of god stands valid this clearly means that you are not the doer the actual doer is the god himself and if this is true then karma theory does not exist then you cannot be punished if at all somebody has to be punished it is god himself because he is the doer the first part of karma theory which says you reap as you sow in this birth 
means that whatever action and deeds you do you are rewarded or punished in this birth itself but this is also not true because this would mean that when a child is born and whatever he keeps on doing he starts getting the punishment and when the child grows up and he does more wrong he is punished more severely because he does not seem to understand but this is not the case with most of the criminals if you see adolf hitler osama bin laden saddam hussein they did not face any punishment until their last breath and even daud ibrahim the most wanted man in the world today he is not facing any punishment he is living a very luxurious life and happy life and why do children die after taking birth why do they get orphan why do they lose their eyesight why do they die of malnutrition this is enough punishment for them without doing nothing bad simply because a child is innocent if you go by the second concept of karma theory it says the way you saw you reap in the next birth this is also not true because this would mean you will get rewards and punishment for all your bad deeds only in your next birth and if this is true then why is human population increasing why would god send you back again in hell with so much punishment happening to you your entire being has to be finished and uh, even for argument sake if we agree that god has sent you back again at least you will not do anything wrong because you have already experienced the harsh punishment does it mean that a human being forgets all the punishment he has gone through in hell in the transit from hell to earth back again if this is true then the punishment is useless its purpose is not achieved sages say god punishes to change you both the karma theory aspects prove that karma theory does not exist talking about hell and heaven the sages say that hell is a place where you are fried in boiling oil the question is who is punished the body is already consumed on this earth by either fire or by earth itself 
it is the only soul which they say travels to god for judgment how can the soul be punished the scripture say that the soul can neither be destroyed damaged it is immortal a immortal thing which cannot be destroyed or changed damaged or altered how can you punish it the soul which is immortal cannot be punished at all then who is it which is getting punished there is no one who is either going to hell or heaven there is no one who is getting punished in hell there is nothing like heaven nothing like hell karma theory does not exist god does not exist